So, as I mentioned, right, uh, the systems are a huge key to, to the success. So uh, let's get into that um, aspect of it. And, uh, and that's going to help you uh, be efficient with this new process. So we can move all of our floor ready work offshore as much as we want. But if the systems don't match up with our cost saving strategy, we're still not making the overall achievements we want to make by moving the goods offshore. And now you could end up with even larger chargebacks than we had before. So um, systems have got to be set up for success. So just some examples of, uh, you know, inefficient system examples, meaning if you did move the goods offshore or uh, ways that systems can accommodate, don't accommodate uh, efficient manner, um, you know, Most of the time we're selling the exact same piece of merchandise to our retail partners that require uh, floor ready uh, merchandise and the customers that have no requirement. Um, right, so we need to be able to segregate our our inventory. So let's say we have style 100 right just to give an example, which is a woman's blouse in color black right, we might be selling 100 units of that blouse to Nordstrom. And another 200 units is going to 20 other regions that have no specific floor ready requirements. So the question becomes, how can we ensure that when we send our orders for Nordstrom uh, to the warehouse, that they're going to be smart enough to grab the merchandise uh, for that style 100 in color black that is ticketed um, right, for, for Nordstrom versus the other 20 customer orders that don't require any specific uh, ticketing. We know we have the carton mark markings on the box and as well as the labels of the goods that are pre-ticketed, but how can we expect the warehousing worker isn't going to arrive at the location that is storing style 100 in color black, that they're not just going to grab the non-pre-ticketed goods, right? Um, they're going to get there and they may not even realize that there's another location uh, that is storing the uh, floor ready uh, goods for Nordstrom. So the point is the systems have to know, right? Um, and we need to be able to uh, identify that. A lot of these systems, uh, other systems will say, oh, just create a separate style uh, in the system and add a suffix or a prefix to it. Uh, so it can be identified that it's different, all right? This is not a really good solution because it leads to other potential issues, additional UPCs for the same exact product, uh, systemic visibility issues, uh, not having a full picture on the overall performance of that product. Um, it could also lead to lost sales because if we have that product uh, labeled, you know, uh, sorry, uh, prefix differently, right, uh, or ha has a suffix on it, uh, our sales team might not know uh, that that's the exact same style that we're selling to other customers and we had cancellations on orders uh, and we either need to reticket the item so we can sell more to, to Nordstrom in the example we're giving you, or we have goods ticketed for Nordstrom and we need to remove the ticketing and sell it to other customers. So. Um, if you're looking in a system and you don't have visibility of that same exact style, that, those are some of the issues that could end up uh, happening um, with inefficient system examples. 